Hey everybody, welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how can you fix and solve too many requests on Xbox Game Pass. In order to fix and solve too many attempts or too many requests on Xbox Game Pass, you could follow the steps. When you see such information, what you could actually do is that you could wait a short period before attempting to access the app again. You might have temporarily blocked your account, so you have to wait for a couple of hours or maybe a day and you should be able to fix the issue. Essentially, there are also other alternative steps which you can give it a try and sometimes it might be helpful. However, these are not a reliable way or these are not a actual way to fix it so or i cannot guarantee you that this is going to help you out but you could give it a try in order to fix it so as well so first of all you could actually go ahead and try clean your cache as well as data so you want to long press onto the application and go to the app info section then what you want to do is you want to go to storage and cache and make sure to click on your cache as well as storage and click the ok button once you've done it so now you want to restore or restart your device by holding on to your site buttons and click on restart after which you could try logging in and see whether the issue has been solved or not if not you could also go ahead and try uninstalling the application so for that you want to long press onto the xbox and then you want to drag it and click on uninstall and click the ok button and once again go to your respective app store or play store and on the search box type in xbox and click the install button and this should be able to fix it as well and the last alternative way would be is to check or verify your internet connection. Now test your network speed and stability and consider switching to a wider connection. If possible, that could be a helpful way. However, you could also check the server status. Sometimes it might be a server issue as well. So go to the server or go to Xbox Live status page to see your server disruptions or any sort of issues that has been that is related to the server itself and the most reliable method is to wait for a couple of hours or maybe a day or two that could be able to fix it so i hope the video was helpful make sure to like share and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching see you in the next video